What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're talking about, you know, what you should think about after you purchase a standing seam metal roofing roll forming machine. And today to help me out, I've got Sean from the Sheffield sales team. Thanks for being here, Sean. Yeah, pleasure. So we're talking about roll forming today. What you should do next after you get a machine and what's some things you should think about. So talk to me a little bit about that, you know, after you make that initial purchase. Sure, I think what's most important once you get your machine is to become as familiar with it as possible. You, you wanna be well-trained, you want your staff to be well-trained. Um, you know, anyone that's gonna be coming in contact with it on a daily basis, you want them to know the machine inside and out so that they can get ahead of any potential issues that might come down the line. Um, that they know its capabilities. When they're talking to your customers, they know what they can provide for them. So being well-trained is very important. I think partnering with a metal supplier, uh, somebody that can provide you with help, that uh, has knowledge of the industry, um, can help forecast jobs for you, what material you're going to need. Um, so being, being well-trained um, and, and then partnering with somebody that can um, help you grow your business. Yeah, perfect. And we'll talk about the coil supplier in a second here. But you know, I think firstly, when it talks about when we talk about training, the safety aspect of the machine is so important. You know, that's absolutely number one to understand. Um, you know, all the, where the proper guarding should go. Understand how to operate the machine um, in with proper safety measures, lockout, tag out, all that kind of stuff um, is so important for you. Anybody that's going to be near the machine. And then after that, it's um, maintaining the machine. You know, you don't want to buy the machine and let it sit for six months without opening it up, taking a look at it, uh, making sure that all the parts are functioning correctly, cleaned correctly. Very important, you know, training, safety, maintenance. Yep. Um, right out of the gate when you get a machine, those should be the three things that are on your mind. So let's talk about the metal supplier, you know, for a second. So I've got my machine. Um, I've got my focus on safety. I've got operation dialed in. You know, I'm ready to start looking for some jobs, bidding on jobs. You know, how do I get the metal sourced for that machine? Sure. You know, you have any number of options of coil and sheet suppliers that you can go to. Um, you know, we recommend that you go with somebody that's gonna um, not only get you your material um, when you need it in time for your jobs, um, but also support you. Um, you know technical support is a very big part of what we do at Sheffield. Um, so learning about the jobs that you're going to be running panels for, um, you know, providing engineering uh, for the panels, you know, we do significant testing on our panels uh, to make sure that they perform well in any conditions. Um, we also have a technical team that's here to answer questions, help guide you when you're out in the field. And, you know, uh, us, the reps, um, you know, we're really uh, a responsive group. Um, so we're tr here to support you, learn about your business, learn how we can provide solutions to issues that you have or challenges that you face with your business and helping it grow. Yeah, and speaking of you know technically minded sales teams, um, if you are a machine owner and you're calling up a company, it's really easy to go anywhere and just say, hey, I need you know 24 gauge steel this much, you know, uh, but. If you're talking with someone who's technically minded, they can say, you know, what type of machine do you have? Um, what panel are you running? I think it's huge to understand that, um, you know, the machine has certain types of material that it's been tested to run. And if you run the wrong material, then it's either not going to create a good panel or it could even damage your machine. So having a technically trained sales team that you're discussing uh, these purchases with every day is a big deal. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, uh, a lot of the machines use our material to do the testing, um, to calibrate the machines. You want to team up with a coil supplier that um, you know is familiar with the machines, knows what kind of material to put into it, knows what kind of material is going to give you the best result. Sure. And I think another thing that's important to a new panel machine owner is service. You know, so aside from the coil, you know, what's some things they should be thinking about? Um, you know, when they're servicing their machine or, or they, you know, need to request service. Right. And I think that's one of the areas where, where Sheffield partnering with a coil supplier like Sheffield is important. You have a, a rep, uh, a trained rep that can help you uh, navigate problems, issues with your machines. We also have a technical department, um, depending on the complexity of the problem. And then New Tech as well has a service department, a great service department that does its best 
to respond to customers when they're having problems and help them get through it. And so when it comes to engineering, you mentioned the technical team. Um, tell me a little bit about you know, what you should consider you know, when it comes to role forming and engineering. Yeah, engineering's very important. We uh, have a technical department um, that uses our metal and uh, makes panels, um, you know, similar to the ones that our customers are using out in the field. And um, we put them through a litany of tests um, to make sure that they are up to standards and that they can perform. And it's not just the panel that's a part of engineering, it's the entire assembly. And I think there's a common misconception out there, especially when, you know, say someone buys a new tech machine or another role former and they get a UL booklet. You know, just because um, you have UL compliance um, with your machine does not mean you're gonna be installing an engineered system no matter what. You need to follow the manufacturer's installation instructions when it comes to that and, and use all of their information as well. So that's kind of why it's important to talk with someone like Sheffield as well. Yes, 100%. Um, you know, engineering is the, the whole system. I wanna go back to training for a second. Uh, tell me a little bit about, you know, how Sheffield can support people through row forming training as well. Sure. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you buy an SSR HQ with us, um, it's that's going to have training that comes with it. And, you know, we're a distributor of new tech machines. Uh, they're a sister company of ours. If you're buying a machine from us, we want to make sure that we give you the proper support. Yep. And, you know, I would definitely encourage any machine owner uh, that make sure that whoever's operating the machine is at the training. You know, it's very easy to, you know, as a machine owner to purchase the machine and say, all right, yeah, let me get trained and then I'll train everyone else. Um, but, you know, when when the technical team goes out to make a training, um, you know, they can talk to these guys one on one, make sure that they're understanding things, really get their hands on the machine. Um, you know, it's a really involved training. I think it's it's super valuable for anybody that's going to be near the machine. You know, we're not just sending you a pamphlet. Um, you know, and going through a checklist of a couple of things. Um, you know, we want to answer questions for you. Um, so the, the training is involved um, and it's a big part of what we do. And another thing when it comes to, you know, getting informed on your, your role former and, you know, how to operate it, how to service it. Um, New Tech Machinery, I know, has a great learning center, a lot of videos on that service portion, the operation portion, um, that's super valuable for anybody that owns a machine. 100%. Phenomenal learning center. Um, whenever we're partnering with a customer to get them a machine, um, the learning center is often where I start, you know. Um, before um, they go through a training. It's a great way uh, to just get uh, initiated with your machine, learn what it's capable of doing. There's a, a great library of videos, of articles um, that go through the basics of the machine, and it's a great way to, to learn more. All right, Sean, well, thank you very much. Really appreciate the time today. No problem. If you have any questions, comment down below, or if you have any ideas uh, for roll forming videos that you'd like to request, let us know. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.